Having debt can feel overwhelming at times, especially when it sits with multiple creditors. If you have some student loans or credit card balances, you can be left feeling like you're snowed in. But there are a couple of ways to dig yourself out. One method is called the avalanche. It's pretty simple. Look at all the places you owe money and figure out which has the highest interest rate. Think of the interest rate as the price of the loan. Make the minimum payment to each every single month but also put whatever else you can afford toward the debt with the highest rate. This will help you pay off that loan faster. And once it's down to zero, take all the money you were paying to it each month and put it toward the loan with the next highest interest rate. Continue that until all your debt is gone. The avalanche method will save you the most money in the long run and pay off your total debt the fastest but it may not be the best method for you. Here's why. If your biggest debt has the highest interest rate, it could take a while to pay it off, and that may leave you feeling snowed in again. If that's the case, you might wanna try the snowball method. You still make the minimum payment each month on all your debts, but instead of throwing more money at the debt with the highest interest rate, you make the larger payment to the loan with the smallest balance. Then when that's paid off, you move all of that money to the loan with the next smallest balance. You may pay a bit more in the long run, but this way you can feel a sense of accomplishment sooner and more often every time you eliminate a loan. And that can help motivate you to keep going. Some people are more successful using the snowball method because of that psychological boost. Remember, money is never just about money. If you've tried one strategy and it hasn't worked, try the other. It's up to you to decide which method works best for you so you can be smart about money.